Hey, how's it going everybody? So as the video title says, I wanna give you a few pointers for improving the audio quality using Android Auto. It's going to be three steps here. And the first thing you wanna do is fire up your music streaming app. As a demonstration, I'm using Spotify here, which is what I use regularly. So you wanna open your music streaming app and you wanna go into the settings and find my settings here. And you want to scroll down to audio quality and under audio quality, again, find the equivalent setting in whatever music streaming app you're using and make sure under downloads, it is on the highest setting. I have mine set to very high. So all of the tracks in my library, I have downloaded and downloaded with very high quality. So go ahead and make sure that that is set to very high. If you absolutely cannot download your music onto your phone, I don't think it takes up that much space, but if you absolutely cannot, then make sure cellular streaming is set to very high or the highest setting. Now, of course, that's going to use a little bit more data, but you're gonna have to pick one or the other if you want the max uh, quality output from your streaming service. So again, I recommend just making sure that downloads are set to very high. And then remaining in the settings, you wanna find a setting for normalize volume again i just stayed in the settings here i didn't leave this uh, particular page or area of the app normalize volume make sure that's set to off i noticed that that also muffles the sound muffles the audio coming out via the car so make sure you download very high quality for your music or make sure that the cellular streaming is set to very high and turn off normalize volume okay now the third step is to turn off dolby atmos now, I actually have kind of enjoyed Dolby Atmos for the most part when I'm using headphones or something, but for some reason in the car, it contributes to that muffled sound or that poor audio quality. So I, I had to swipe a few times here. I pulled down my quick panel menu and swiped to the left a few times and you see Dolby Atmos is already set to off. I have that off because it sounds better with it off. Make sure that's off. If you cannot find it in your quick panel menu, go into your settings on your phone and then start searching, start typing Dolby Atmos and you should see it. There it is. And it'll take you right to it. And as you can see, it is toggled off there. Keep it toggled off. If you're not using a Samsung Galaxy like I am here, this is an S23 Plus. You might have an equivalent setting. You might not. Uh, but for sure, whatever music streaming app you are using, you have settings for the previous two steps that I showed you. So make sure that's off. All of these make a difference. Each one makes a slight difference and it adds up. Now I cannot demo a bunch of music for you because I'll get some copyright strikes, but I'll try to demonstrate the difference. I'm gonna turn Dolby Atmos uh, on over here and then I'm gonna go back into Spotify and I'm going to turn on that normalize volume setting. Okay, of course, I'm gonna keep my downloads at very high. That's gonna take too long to delete those and re-download. So those, those settings that I told you to shut off, I'm gonna turn them on and play the music. And then we're gonna see how it sounds with these settings off. Okay, now I'm gonna turn off Dolby Atmos and turn off normalized volume as I instructed you to do. I can hear that difference. I don't know if you can. All right, so that's all for this one, guys. If you follow those instructions, I promise you it's gonna make a difference. How big of a difference? I don't know, your results may vary, but for me, it was all the difference in the world. I thought this uh, car that I, uh, that I got has worse audio quality, a worse system than the previous one, even though it's pretty much the same car. 
uh, but that was not the case. I just had to make these ad adjustments as this is the first car I used Android Auto in. Hope this helped. If it did, leave a thumbs up so I know this is the type of video that helps you. And if you're into mobile tech, consider getting subscribed and hitting that notification bell so you know when a new video drops. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. This video is sponsored by Best No Copyright Music. I'm often asked where it is I get the music that I include in my videos. The answer to that question is best no copyright music. Link to their channel is in the description.